That belongs in a museum. Common wisdom said for a while you don't draw because the game's going to fatigue. But then some people started experimenting with a strategy that says, no, you draw because then you get to Elise yeah, and the quicker. monkey yeah, and yeah, just yeah. a car quicker. So there's actually this big discrepancy going on. People trying to perfect this matchup. Be interesting to see which side of the coin these two players come down yeah, on. And we did just see a slam from Powder. So at least he's uh, OK at the moment to cycle. And then also, I actually like Control Warrior Mirrors because the, the resource management is so intense. Every time you see a shield slam, you've got to think, was that the best shield slam I could get? Because if it wasn't, and then your opponent gets a better shield slam later, you start to fall behind. Same with executes. Any form of removal and weapons are the main ones. And talking of weapons, go <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You know what would be devastating? <laughs> Elise coming out of this one. Oh my god, imagine. This does make the match uh, very uh, Well, Dog doesn't have his Justicar in hand yet, so right. if Justicar was to get pulled out of this Death Lord, that is even more devastating. So two cards could really ruin this. Yep. Elise and Justicar coming out of the deck for Dog could completely shift the dynamic of this Here we go. Dog's gonna cross his fingers and He's hope. Really? Seems okay with what's just happened based on his reaction. Oh, yep, oh, all right. Yep, yep. Yep. I'll good. take it. Seems good. Yeah, I mean, if that eats up uh, an execute from the Death by AoE, then so be it. It was gonna get what you're looking for in a mirror match for Control Warrior, where you've got the big threats, you've got very bulky minions, and you're demanding execute shield slams early. Yeah, and Dog just with uh, no real answer to this Sylvanas right now that we can see just decides to go face and ignore it, which is always a very dangerous proposition. Lots of counterplay available here to Powder with various combinations of cards. But... Jones is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, but uh, here's the question. Does Powder want to draw two cards right now? <laughs> you do drop, like, the... Uh... Wait, how Wait yes, the this, weapon is, is. this is yeah. glorious, right? No, because yeah. he gets his Whirlwind off the Death Spite, and then with Harrison, he gets the Whirlwind off his opponent's Death Spite, right, steals, steals the Grom, the Grom yeah. ten to face. Seems good. Pretty tough to, <laughs> to say no to that, right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we'll do it. Pretty tough to say no. That'll work, and Dog, a swift nod there, just like, yep, yeah, that just happened. He does get the two-card draw, which he's probably, with this trade-off, pretty okay with. Right. Gets the Grom for 10 to face, and you know what? Right, all over to Dog for, to try and answer this board. Yeah, because in Powder's position, he already has his Justicar. He's already played his Elise. Yeah, so well, his need to cycle cards just does isn't really there. Because he needs to equalize the fatigue at some point if he hopes to, uh, to, to salvage this. And based on this, I'm tempted to say just... Monkey before release, uh, before True Hearts. Wow. So. I'm not winning the fatigue race. Let's, let's turn right, everything let's, into Legendary. Malone! He got Malone! Unbelievable! All right, so no. Malone and Anumarak, those in the con in the control yeah. mirrors, those are the big two that you're really looking for. Dog will be trying very hard not to reveal information right now, but for those of you, just in case you're not familiar, Malone has an effect which, when it dies, it is then put back into your deck. So not only do you then draw a card and not take fatigue damage, but you have a never-ending supply of threats. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's still not quite uh, hyper-stable, I want to say, right? Because even if you get the Malorn, there's cases where you can let it live, especially when you've got such a high health lead. Um, if you're able to set up, in this case, I was going to say, some kind of burst uh, through Grom Hellscream, quite a bit of... Uh, but you know there's no executes. There's no executes. He got another <laughs> just to go! No way! <laughs> What's going what? on? And this is crazy though. The key card here is this would be an amazing Vulgin. play because oh, you know no. there's no removal from <laughs> Dog. But Dog can just vault in and reduce his health to two and be like, yes. No dragon pretty good, or Ren Black Hand, but Dude, Noxious, you're like, yeah, please. I'm safe. Noxious, please. As long as that keeps dying. <laughs> just let it die. There it is. Varian comes down. The Death Spite Swing is going to take out Here this Grom. And yeah. Play. This is sick. <laughs> this is just really sick. Yeah. And now Powder's like, okay, kinda need my own monkey now. <laughs> well, he does draw cards though, so that's that's the way he's gonna be able to do this. And he can just kill Law Walker, right? Well, I mean, he can do it. Oh, he has that's Gohau. Wait, right? what about you give your opponent another map to the Golden Monkey? <laughs> but I think your legendaries are too good. Yeah. Roll again. Yeah, you rolled too high on your legendaries. You have to do it again. But yeah, I mean, he, sure, he can chop down the Lawwalker Cho here, but that means one of these minions is then protected from the really high-value Gorehow, and a right. removal spell is going to have to be used in a situation uh, where it wasn't well, before. He can, so. Yeah, he can just execute the Vol'jin, still have the four attack from the weapon to kill the 3-4. Right, sure, but okay, then the 3-4... The powder is on a, a million health at the moment as well, so he's still in a really strong position, and he can now play his own monkey in. Maybe see what he can roll and see if he can be as just as crazy as dogs. What about I don't play that? Fix <laughs> up the Death Lord. I can take the hit. Yeah, I mean, there, there's no real 
rush for powder right now. He has enough tools in his hand to be able to kind of yeah. survive the wave of legendaries for a little while. And as we mentioned before, like the emphasis was on Dog to make something crazy happen, and he has made something pretty crazy yeah. happen. So, you know, he's he's made the right play. He's put himself in a spot where it's possible for him to win this game now. But Powder will still be fairly calm in this situation, I think, being the, the player with the more flexible hand overall, being able to react and still choose when he wants to play that golden monkey when he draws. Right. And still that 5-5, five five, you know, it's, it's not going to die this turn, so it's going to get some work done. Um, how much do you think... Over again, yeah, makes sense. The dog here looks like he's trying to decide between Justicar and Emperor Thorasan. He's going to go for the Justicar here. Quite like that. Just to uh, try and protect himself from any kind of beatdown uh, kill here from Powder. Grom is already gone, but there's still weapons in the deck. Bash. There's still bashes, etc., that can ramp up the damage fairly quickly. So he's just going to secure his position and then try and rely on these insanely high value cards like Milan to try and get him back into this game. Look at Powder sitting almighty on his uh, 60 health. Yep. That's interesting. Was, was there ever a reason to just actually use Bash there instead? Is he, just, is he just actually banking Bash for a legendary? No, for damage to the face as well. Like, it's not too far off of getting it done with the amount of weapons he's had. I don't know. I feel like going aggressive here with Powder is definitely an option, unless Dog somehow has Reno. I think, honestly, like, he, he doesn't have any real reason to clear the board, yeah. which is why, you know, Bash would have been useful there, because the, the Death Lord comes into play, and there is a legendary dragon. But you don't have a legendary to kill. Nope. <laughs> what does that do? Ren's like, aww. Malorn time. Draw it every single turn, as long as it dies. So, as you said, maybe the investment in it will simply pose a recurring threat to Powder that he has to handle. Right, I mean... Yeah, one of two things happen here, right? Either the Malorn gets killed and he starts resisting fatigue damage straight away, or the Malorn just gets to chew through the Death Lord yeah. straight away. Right. So. And then still continue hitting for yeah. nine every every turn, sorry. So it's, right, exactly. it's pretty good. Well, we're looking at uh, seven damage coming dog's way. See the monkey? Yeah. There it is. So it's options time for SK Powder. He will be looking at his hand right now and deciding which of these cards he needs to allocate to various uses. With the War of Attrition? Yeah. I could see that. I'd like to trade here, as you said, and then trade. Yeah, because you, you just like, you play Monkey. And well, you, and what you if play... he gets Monkey? Uh -huh. What? Well, monkey's he has in his monkey hand. Then. Yeah, but if you, if you trade, like if you play Monkey and you trade afterwards, no, you no, get a legendary. No, no, no. So he could have traded yeah, Shieldman into Sylvanas, Death Lord gets stolen, then he plays then he play the monkey. Yeah, and then, then, then okay. kill the Death Lord, yeah. Gotcha. He's just going for the aggressive stance, which is yeah, I mean, a pretty this, good play as well. Yeah, this <laughs> was Noxious' line of play, and it yeah. makes a lot of sense considering the fact that he's going to start taking fatigue damage every turn now, and with all this damage stacked up in his hand with weapons and, and bash on top of the, the board that he has, makes a lot of sense to develop the play this way, and I think this is uh, heading down a pretty inevitable conclusion. Well, in I feel like it's lethal, favorite. right? Uh, yeah. You're looking right. at nine, exactly. the armor up is not going to save him. Well, the armor up being just a little bit better than Alex Strazin himself at that point. Yep, so he's going to take a long, hard look at his hand, and Malorn, despite being one of the best cards in this situation, and we got super hype about it when it came out, it's you had know, zero effect on there the There is overall. a way that Dog ended up playing Malorn last turn mm -hmm. and then killed it with his rend to slow down fatigue. Oh, damn. I wonder if that would have done anything. I didn't really count. Uh, the play's noxious. Anything this would have done. All right, so Bash. Okay, as long as Dog can't get rid of his own Malorn. Yeah, I mean, he still can make the rend play, right? To right. slow down for fatigue, but it's uh, not Alex really going to get himself too far. Yeah, he can Alex Straza his own face as yeah. well. But. It, all, I think it's all it's doing here is just, you know, uh, uh, slowing down the, uh, or delaying the inevitable yeah. at this point. And this is the issue where, like, we, we were on about the, the way the Golden Monkeys come into this matchup, and obviously we saw it on Dog's end, but for Powder, he was just so far ahead already on the hell. That, uh, and just kept his opening hand and the way his resources just continued on through the probably turns like through three to seven were um was just so much better than dogs dog sat with those two revenges in his hand for so long they couldn't really do anything with right and now dog knows he's probably dead and he is in fact uh, quite dead with his bash I mean, he should know that he's dead, right? Because he knows which cards are in his yeah. opponent's deck. He should know that there's a bash there. So he should just be pretty damn sure that he dies to bash this turn. But either way, I think he can accept that there was not a win there. Powder is going to do the decent yeah, let's thing. Let's see what he gets. And let us look that at a few legendaries. 
a oh. Mukla, a couple Link of Alex front. Strazas in an Double Alex Straza, Isera, because why not? Yeah, why not? All right, yeah. three damage. That is fatigue lethal. Powder squares it up. Two games to two. Exhausting control warrior. Miracle. And us. <laughs> what, what an interesting game, actually, though. It was yeah. uh, a lot of fun to actually watch.